Hello, and welcome to the Book Marketing Simplified Podcast. I'm Jen Hansen DePaula. I am Marcus DePaula. And Jen, today you want to talk about TikTok. Several authors have asked if they should be on TikTok. And so I just wanted to discuss what both outlets have to offer Mm -hmm. and things that you can consider. All right, so let's start with what's the difference between TikTok and Instagram Reels? Well, there really isn't anything different between Reels and TikTok, but I think the overall difference is the experience on Instagram versus the experience on TikTok. Okay. Because with TikTok, you only have video. You have short form video. Obviously, Reels are kind of like Instagram's response to TikTok right. because everyone is seeing the success of short form video versus long form video and just static images. And Instagram, I think that they're very smart in coming up with their own version of this to incorporate into the overall Instagram experience. Because something that many people leave out when we hear all of these people saying, oh, Instagram isn't a photo sharing app anymore. They never said that. They said that they were not just a photo sharing app anymore. They definitely incorporate that into the whole creative toolbox, as they call it, within everything that Instagram offers. But with TikTok, it is a very active community. It really is. And right now, it's a hot place to be, especially during the pandemic, I think, is when TikTok really started taking off specifically for the book and publishing community. Okay. And many authors are seeing success with having people on TikTok buy books and they're seeing a return there. But what I want to caution people with is this. It's always, always, always going to change. Yeah. And just jumping from one social media outlet to the next is not the answer. Even though, yes, TikTok is a very popular place right now, but does that mean that every author should migrate there? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. It's not the medium that gives you success. It's your content that gives you success. It's focusing on what you communicate, what you're putting out there, and how you're connecting with others. And you can do that anywhere. I've signed up. I'm a part of TikTok just because I've mainly been curious about it. I might get some kickback on this and saying that I prefer Instagram just because I have a stronger community there personally. What's wrong with preferring one platform over the other? Well, we here's all have the our personal th- preferences. There are a lot of people on TikTok that say, oh, Instagram's dead. Right. TikTok's the place to be, you right. know, and they're kind of snobby about it. It's the trendy culture yes. thing. And honestly, that's how it was when Instagram yeah. became the next big thing. There are some people who do favor one outlet dramatically <laughs> more than another, and that's totally fine. But that does not mean that that is going to be success for every author out there. We're not just chasing trends. No. We are building platforms. Yes. And so... Keeping that in mind, whatever we try, whether it's TikTok or Clubhouse or whatever it is. Yes. And people are still on Facebook. People are still on Twitter. People are still on Instagram. There are millions and millions and millions of people, even billions of people on these outlets. And to say that no one is on Instagram or no one is on Facebook or no one, you know, that is not not true. true. (laughs) It's not true. All of that to say... Both Reels and TikTok offer the same experience, but it's just on a different platform. And with TikTok, something that I'm not a big fan of is that you only have, I think it's 150 characters for the caption. Oh. It is incredibly limiting. Less than Twitter. (laughs) Yes. And that's also including your hashtags. Wow. So there is not a lot of room For conversation. Exactly. And I love that about Reels because you can't say a lot in some of these videos. Using that caption in Reels is really important so you can go into more detail, so you can start those conversations. I've posted some TikToks where people have like completely missed the point of what the video was about because I couldn't go into more detail in the caption. And that's my fault, but... There is a big difference within the delivery. The experience is still the same with just these short form videos, but us as 
authors or communicators are kind of limited continuing that conversation within the caption. So besides the limitation in text captions on TikTok compared to Instagram, is there any difference between the length of videos that you can post? I think with TikTok, they're experimenting with three minutes. Okay. So you can do a little longer, but I see more and more people keeping their TikToks or their videos reels short because people have a short attention span. Right. right. And some of these clips or the sounds that you have are very short. They're sometimes just a few seconds long. And then as far as the sounds and the filters and those effects and stuff, they're similar, but you don't have the exact same. They are. And what I would encourage authors to do is really to start out with Instagram because it's a nicer user experience because the tools that you can use and the filters and the stickers and all of that, and this is a personal experience that I've had The experience on creating reels on Instagram is easier and less clunky than TikTok. But that being said, people who are going from TikTok over to reels might think the opposite. What I love about Instagram is that you have many ways that you can communicate with people. You can communicate with them through images. You can do that through stories. You can do it through direct messaging You can do that through reels. You have many different things that you can use. Whereas with TikTok, you're just kind of stuck with that video. You brought up your experience in your last point Mm -hmm. on TikTok. Can you go a little bit more into what your experience on TikTok has been like compared to what you've experienced on Instagram? Well, with... TikTok, I've been on it for maybe a month and I have over 1,800 followers and it grows fairly consistently. But it's like that with a lot of educational content. Mm -hmm. With fiction or with other writers, there are some that are getting a lot of interaction, but they've been on the platform for a long time. And I'm seeing a lot of people complain about the algorithm (laughs) Everyone's going to complain about the algorithm on any social media outlet, but they're saying that it's changing. On TikTok, because it is so heavily populated and it has grown so much, yeah, they're going to have some restrictions on that. And that's what the algorithm is for. Gotcha. And so my experience has been, and this is just my experience, Mm -hmm. I love the community on Instagram. I feel like I've found my people on Instagram And on TikTok, I know that there are very gracious people there too. And the writing community and the book community is great, but it's not as warm and welcoming on TikTok. And again, I'm not saying that that's across the board. And I've heard other people say people are a lot nicer on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like I was mentioning earlier, without having the chance to explain more or to say more in the caption, People can watch a TikTok and they can leave just like a mean comment because they completely misunderstand what you're saying. I've been hearing a lot of people say how the algorithm on TikTok is really, really great and gets the right people to the right content and you get a, a good response. How was your experience with that? I did get initially a good response. Mm-hmm. I obviously get a better response on Instagram, but I'm kind of dialed in there. With TikTok, it's the same. It's all about the content. But in following some TikTok influencers and some other TikTok experts, they are all talking about how the TikTok algorithm has changed because it's very hard for them to get engagement. It's very hard for them. Everyone is focused on going viral and how it's so much more difficult to do that. And this whole idea of going viral is more difficult to do on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I don't think that going viral is something that needs to be the absolute priority because you will burn yourself out. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. And we've talked about this before. Yeah. If you're looking to go viral and, you know, they say that doing that on TikTok is easier, it's not going to be that way forever. It is going to change because there are so many people flooding TikTok 
it's the big thing now, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be the big thing even a year from now or two years from now. But I do think that for authors, especially for those who kind of shy away from video and who are reluctant to try reels, obviously you don't want to go over to TikTok because (laughs) you'll just be in hell. If you do want to try reels, And try that short form video, obviously trying it on Instagram. Because you have other options still if the reels don't work for you. Yes. And readers most definitely are still on Instagram. The book community is still very, very active and thriving on Instagram. And I do believe that it's because there are so many options on there that you can tap into. But you can create a reel or a TikTok and use it in both places. Right. If you do post a reel, you can download it and upload it to TikTok or vice versa. And so if you are kind of curious and you want to try it out, upload one of your reels to TikTok to see if that might work for you or use them in both places. It's really about working smarter, not harder. And there are some people who say, I just saw a TikTok teacher talking about how you can post up to 30 times a day on TikTok. Goodness. I know. For some of the more rational people, they say post one to three times a day. 30 times. 30 times. That's a lot of work. Yes. It's one of those situations where if that is your jam and if that is something that you love to do, go for it. You know, that's totally fine. But in my experience with working with authors, you're already strapped for time. So work smarter, not harder, focus. And don't feel pressured to go to TikTok if you're not comfortable with it or if you don't feel your ideal reader is there because that's really the thing. Is your ideal reader on TikTok? Are you seeing a lot of your friends or colleagues within the writing community going over to TikTok? Are they seeing success there? If not, really invest your time on Instagram. Okay, so let's flip it around. What if you're already on TikTok Mm -hmm. and you're already making videos for TikTok, but you haven't really done reels yet? Can you take those videos from TikTok and use them as Instagram reels? Yes, you can. The big thing that will hold you back on Instagram, and I imagine on TikTok as well, is the TikTok watermark. And so there are sites, one is called SnapTik. Mm Mm-hmm. There's also Save Talk that remove the watermark from TikToks so you can upload them to Instagram. So why is that important? Because when the Instagram algorithm sees the watermark, they don't make your reels as visible. So they don't want to promote their competitor's platform. Pretty much. And you can't really blame them, yeah. but you have that knocked against you and you won't get as much visibility. Gotcha. So what else should authors consider in choosing to use TikTok for their marketing? If you feel like you're already spread too thin and that you have too much going on, keep it simple. And if you're on Instagram and you're already making reels, then yeah, download those and upload them to TikTok. That's no problem. But if you're feeling like you're missing out on something or if the idea of going to TikTok completely freaks you out, don't worry about it. Not worth it. No. And again, what I always tell authors is that you need to focus more on the content. It's not about the medium. Mm -hmm. It's about your content. And once you know who your ideal reader is, once you know what kind of content you want to post and that your ideal reader responds to, it really isn't going to matter the medium. You will be able to share it anywhere. And you'll be able to share that content across the board. So focusing more on getting that content and that strategy is 10 million times more important than the medium. Because once you have that, you can go anywhere. So in thinking about your ideal reader and the medium, part of that is that there is an age demographic factor when it comes to TikTok versus Instagram. And that the audience on TikTok tends to skew younger. Is that correct? 
It is, but more people over the age of 35 are joining TikTok. So it is something that is growing. And we saw this with Instagram a few years ago. You know, it used to be all young people and- Now they're migrating TikTok. Yeah, (laughs) but there are still a lot of young people. Like if you do young adult fiction or have a younger audience, they're still on Instagram as well. And again, if you aren't creating that video element- you can't really do pictures or other things on TikTok. You have to stick to that format. So try it on Instagram first. Exactly. If you're already on Instagram. Yes. You wrote a blog post recently about Bookstagram and Book Talk. We'll put a link to that in the show notes as something that authors should be aware of. Yes. And how to connect with those influencers. Right. So is there a make it happen moment for TikTok. So the make it happen moment is actually something that we have been working on for quite a while and it's called the Turn Followers into Book Buyers Workshop. It is absolutely free and it is something that is going to help you really understand how to connect with readers, no matter the medium, but even though we focus on Instagram, it's really about honing in on your content strategy, understanding the buying process, and so much more. So sign up for that. You can click the link in the description or go to mixusmedia.com slash workshop to sign up. And I'm really excited for everybody to see this. We've been working hard on this for a while. Yes. And I think it's going to be really helpful. I do too. So if you want to see what Jen is doing on TikTok, what's your TikTok handle? It's Mixedus Media. Just like everywhere else. Just like everywhere else. And if you're stuck on thinking of real ideas, like if you do want to get started on doing some reels on Instagram, I have a free download called 10 Instagram Real Ideas for Authors that you can download on our website as well. So a bonus make it happen moment. Yes. All right. Well, thanks again for listening. And we'll talk to you soon. 